The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development announced $12 million in grant money that will go to New Hampshire to fight this problem. Officials say some of these funds will be available to help landlords improve lead paint issues in their buildings. They say this money will make homes safer for low-income families with children. About $5 million of this money will go to Nashua, and another $1.3 million will be given to Sullivan County to address lead hazards in more than 300 housing units. Officials say lead paint is most dangerous to young people and pregnant women. Well, lead paint is, is, is uh, particularly a problem for children under the age of six. So it gets into their bloodstream, it affects their neurological development permanently. It's irreversible. So the more we can keep kids away from lead, the better off they're going to be. We've made tremendous strides in, in, uh, in uh, lead removal and, uh, and in improving the situation for, for families in, in New Hampshire, but uh, we, still have, we still have a ways to go. This money is part of $165 million that is going to help lead paint problems in 23 states. In Concord, Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9.